How's it going, fellas? It's, uh, just got off work. It's uh, Friday. It's about 6 o'clock almost. Uh, decided I'd probably go ahead and see if I could uh, at least roost some birds. I mean, I'm taking my bow with me. Bow season opened a couple days ago here in Kansas, but uh, nothing too crazy. I'll probably uh, find a good field. It may look like something they come by when they're going up to roost. Uh, but not too crazy. Just hunt some public and uh, see if we can roost some birds. See what happens. Just pulled up on the public. There's about three strutters thousand yards away just strutting out in this field over here. Definitely heading that way. I got the drop on these turkeys, but I don't know if I'll get too crazy today. It's it's two hours till probably roost time, two and a half hours till roost time. So I'm going to poke in there, not get too close to these birds. I just want to hear where they roost at for sure. Maybe do some light calling in a field up here. But where they're at, I'm not going to be able to get to them really. I'd be trying to call them downhill and you know how that goes. So may may have a chance but i'm not going to get too crazy today and, and fluster these birds if i can get them roosted then we'll be sitting pretty so see what happens all righty guys <clears throat> just got a field here up there on top of that hill up there on top of that hill past these trees this is where them turkeys were at they're probably 30 yards away i'm not going to booger them i got my decoy set up over here just a jake with a lay down hand, so. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. That sucker got my heart pumping. I couldn't, I couldn't really tell it was a Jake. He came in behind me and I just looked over to the, my left and out of my corner of my eye and I could tell, or, or I seen him coming and I thought it was a Tom. And then I seen that little cigar beard he had. <clears throat> birds roosted within like bright 80 yards of me. So I guess I'm just gonna wait till it gets dark to get my decoy. I haven't heard any gobbles yet. I think this is a big group of hens right in front of me. So I'm gonna let it get a little bit darker, get crawl out there and get my decoy, so. Just made it back to the truck. For the first time of the year, that was a fun hunt to have a uh, Gobble and Jake come in like that, get your heart pounding, and then seeing that bearded hen with a freaking rope on her, she had a seven or eight inch beard on her. Um, I did spook out one hen getting out of there. Um, she spooked out when I went to get the decoys, I had to get out of there, so I didn't have a headlamp, I wanted to get out before dark. So, got out of there, 
back to the truck. I probably won't hunt here in the morning. I didn't hear any uh, goblin on fly up. Maybe a place we want to check out in the future, but I don't think this is it. So I think we're going to go back to Over Liable tomorrow morning. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Well, fellas, I uh, got beat to my spot by it looked like a couple minutes. I, uh, I wasn't going to push in there with them. There's no reason to be like that. Uh, just kind of gave them some gave some pointers i've hunted that piece quite a bit kind of gave some pointers where the birds roost at let them know they're on they're on a hot piece there which i know you probably shouldn't do but i don't really care so i'm gonna go up here and get cell phone coverage and see if anybody's checked into this one uh one uh piece you gotta check into um if no one's checked into there i have no problems with going there if that doesn't work out um kind of up in the air with where i'm gonna go so uh, there's plenty of public land around here though that I can bounce around on. Uh, I've never really even seen people at that spot before. I've seen I've seen some boys from Tennessee down there last year, but other than that, I've never seen another hunter in there. So, uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go get some cell phone coverage and see if I can check in on that one piece. I'm gonna guess I was checked into it. It's pretty it's a pretty hot piece, but I'm not very far from it, so we'll see what happens. spot i can see these birds out in this field i'd feel them, but i don't want to spook them there's a five jakes and a tom just hanging out up there fucking around um so i want to go pick up my decoys we'll probably uh i heard a gobbler off this way i don't know how far he was i'll probably uh call a little bit on my way back i'll probably go scout some new spots hunt a little bit some more so morning I, uh, after I got done hunting yesterday, did a little bit of scouting, uh, nothing too crazy, got windy, so I wasn't really calling or anything, I was just doing some truck scouting, kind of driving around, found a piece up here, it looked pretty good, um, uh, didn't see anything on it, but it looks pretty good, it's got timber, cornfields, and pastures on it, it's, I think it's about 200 acres, then I got another piece over here, it's public on both sides of the road, I'm gonna do what I usually do when I hunt a new piece like this, I'll sit right here on the road and wait till I hear one fire off, and that's the way I'm heading, um, there's all kinds of public lands up here. I mean, a couple thousand acres just kind of spread out within a uh, five mile block of me. So I'm going to find some birds somewhere today. I seen two toms up the road, uh, probably about a half mile away from here, from here, uh, yesterday. So I know there's turkeys in the area. I've seen, I've seen a winter flock about, oh, probably two miles from here, uh, when I, during duck season this year. So I know there's a turkey population here, so I'll find some birds somewhere today. So and for now, I'm gonna get dressed and uh, wait for the sun to come up, so. All right, there's, some, there's about three gobblers that way. I'm about 95% sure they're on private. There's one gobbler back this way. I'm pretty sure he's on public or close to it, so I'm gonna go for him. Things are not going exactly as planned right now. I'm set up about a good five foot from my decoys. <clears throat> this gobbler wouldn't talk much, so I didn't know where he was. So I was scared to get out in this field. We got a hen out in the field with us. But uh, he started gobbling. He's probably 150 yards that way. It sounds like he's on the public, so I'm gonna start calling, see if anything happens. Oh, he's holding ass somewhere. 
I bet he comes in. Snuck out there and grabbed my decoys. Couldn't see my arrow. 
I don't know where it went. It looked like when I shot it bounced off the ground, so it's probably a country mile from here. But I couldn't find it. I looked for it. Um, I'm probably just gonna slip out of here, not mess with this bird, mess with these birds anymore. There's two of them in here. I think they're both pretty killable. So I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna try and slip out, and then I'll probably go work some of that more public ground on my way back home. Cause there's a whole stretch of it right here. I'll probably go through there calling and see if anything happens. But yeah, I should have killed that bird. I think I spoke that into into existence there. I said, if a, I think something along the lines of if a bird comes in here, I'm going to be screwed. And, uh, sure shit. I still should have killed that bird, but that's all right. There's plenty of season left. So we're just getting started really here in Kansas. So, but I'm going to get out of here and, uh, we'll go uh, try some other spots. Back to the truck. Just got back to the truck. I'm gonna do a little bit of calling on this side, see if we can fire one up. That bird stopped gobbling for me, so I just pulled out. It's freaking hot. I ain't gonna chase these suckers. I'm probably gonna go uh, roll down these public spots and just call. If I get one really fired up, I'll go after them. But if not, it's just mental notes for next week that I know there's birds there. So, other than that, let's go find some more birds. Well, there's a little uh, walk-in fishing pond. I'm gonna go uh, fish it and listen for turkeys while I'm there. Nice size crappie. 